Okay, you ready to practice your S sound? Welcome to part two of my S series. Each week I'm uploading a video of a speech therapy session for you and I'm filming them in order of the way I would do it for a regular client of mine. Last week we covered how to make the S sound the proper way. So if you need a little refresher on that, you can feel free to check out that video. I'll put a link up here. But let's go ahead and just recap what we covered last time and move on to practicing S in words. Last week we covered how to make the S sound. Where should your tongue be when you say the S sound? Up on your alveolar ridge. That's just the fancy term for right behind your two top front teeth. Right there. Now what shape should your lips be in to make the S sound? like a watermelon slice or a smile. And what was my magic trick, how to make the S sound? The lazy T. Start off with making a T sound. T -t -t. Then just get a little lazy and release the air. Tss. That's the way you trick your mouth into making the S sound. A nice crisp, clear T followed by a little stream of air beautiful, perfect S sound. Now that we've gone over that and we know how to make the sound, let's go ahead and put it into practice. We are gonna practice the initial S sound, the S that comes at the beginning of a word. Because S can show up in the beginning or the middle or the end of words. Today we're gonna focus on that one that happens in the beginning of words. And we are gonna over exaggerate that lazy T, that crisp, clear S sound. I'll say it first, you repeat it after me exactly as I say it. Make sure your tongue's up behind your top two teeth, your lips are in the shape of a smile, and you start off with that lazy T. Ready to get started? Sun. Soup. Sad. Silly. Sock. Sick. Same. Song. So. Super. Super. <laughs> we just did it. Now I want you to do it again by yourself. I'm gonna show you the pictures, I won't say anything, and I want you to practice with the long lazy T in the beginning of each word, just like we did right now, but I won't model it for you first. Okay, go ahead. Very nice. We obviously don't talk like that in everyday life. We don't talk like this, do we? <laughs> no. The way we're gonna practice it now is just how we would normally say it, with the quick, clear, crisp S at the beginning. Tss. Still start off with the T sound though. 
but you just rein it in a little bit sooner. You don't let the air continue to flow out like we did before. Cut it off. Just like that. So all the same words, just said a little bit more normally. I'll say it first, repeat after me. Ready? Sun. Soup. Sad. Silly. Sock. Sick. Same. Song. So. Super. Now I want you to do it again by yourself, just like we did right now but I won't model it for you first. Okay, go ahead. That's actually it for today. Your homework this week is to watch this video and practice every morning and every evening. Do this practice of these 10 words with the long S sounds and the short S sounds. As you practice, I recommend you have somebody listen to you now and then, if not all the time, just so you know you're actually saying those sounds perfectly and you're really getting good quality practice. But if you're practicing and you're noticing that your S isn't quite as clear as it had been, go back to lesson one, refresh your memory on how to actually make the sound, get some good quality practice of just the S sound, and then build on it. These videos are just to serve as tools for you so that if you ever need to go back and reference anything, you have the tools to practice independently. But Feel free to leave me a question in the comments down below. Leave me a comment letting me know that you completed today's session and how you did. Let me know if it's not going so well and you have any concerns. I'd love to just have a conversation with you since I can't actually sit down with you one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, good luck. Practice in the morning and the evening, this video, this lesson, until I see you next week. Good luck and I'll see you later. Bye.